In this kale crunch salad recipe today, we are mixing crunchy kale with crunchy maple candied pecans, the best, and a big handful of freshly grated Parmesan. You absolutely loved my simple kale salad with the apple slices in it, so I deduct from that that you are as obsessed with kale as I am. Funnily enough, I didn't try kale until I moved to Canada, and the first time I tried it, I thought, oh, that's a bit of green. But over time, I did not only get used to the taste, but I love it now. And I have lots of tips to share with you on how to reduce the bitterness to make it this delicious, delicious green that we all love. We are going to start with a big bunch of washed and dried curly kale. Really make sure it's dried so it doesn't water down your dressing. Tip number one for less bitter kale, remove the stems. All of it, all the way to the tip of the leaf. You simply pull at the leaf and pull at the stem, and if there's still a little bit left at the end, then use a knife and cut it out. The stems are not only very hard to chew, but very bitter. Then use a large knife and cut the kale very, very thinly so you can make sure the dressing gets mixed in properly into each piece. Now let's prepare a delicious lemon dressing. For that, we will add about one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice to a sealable jar, one teaspoon Dijon mustard. Now here comes tip number two to counter bitterness in kale. Add a tablespoon of sweetness to the dressing. I love maple syrup, but honey works just as well a small clove of garlic, crushed, sea salt and pepper to taste, and lastly, a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. Now put on the lid and shake until the dressing is well combined and creamy. Now pour the dressing over the kale and here comes tip number three and probably the most important to combat bitterness in kale. Massage the dressing into the kale with your hands. No amount of tossing with spoons will give you the same result. You really have to massage and squeeze and press the kale in between your fingers to cover each piece of dressing and to make it nice and soft and break it down a bit. Really take your time here. This step is truly important. Next. Chop about a third of a cup of any type of nut. I'm using pecans, but you can also use almonds or walnuts or even peanuts. And then add them to a preheated dry pan and add a drizzle of maple syrup to them and stir constantly for about one minute. These maple candied nuts are out of this world. Set the nuts aside so they can cool down while you grate about two ounces of Parmesan cheese on top of your seasoned kale. The bigger the holes in the grater, the better, so you get nice big chunks of Parmesan with each bite later on. Then use two spoons to mix the Parmesan into the kale before adding the maple candied nuts all over the top. Such a simple salad and yet it's bursting with flavor and texture. I hope you're gonna give this kale crunch salad a try. If you do, please don't forget to snap a picture and show me. I love seeing when you make any of my recipes and I'll see you with my next video. Bye.